Hey, I'm Sejal V. Patel. I am the Mindful Mama Coach, and I'm so excited to be on the 5-Minute Bar. I'm the founder of the online training program, The Mindful Mama Experience. I help moms learn how to be more present, to be more patient, and feel more peaceful, and give them the tools to help their children learn how to handle stress and anxiety, too. If you're ready, let's join in in the conversation. And hello, everybody, on the 5-Minute Bark today. I'm so excited to be with you guys here today. And today we've got Tejal Patel here on our show, the Mindful Mama Experience. She's got a course online. She's a coach. She's written a book. She's been doing all kinds of great things. And I want to share a lot of great stuff with you here today about her. So, Tejal, say hello to everybody. Hi. So excited to be here, Dennis. Oh, I'm excited to have you here because we've been having technical difficulties for hours trying to figure this all out, and we got through the mess, and we're here today. We were but, practicing mindfulness. It was testing us to be mindful through this. <laughs> absolutely. It's so cool. So now we're actually uh, live streaming from her phone. This is one of our first ones. We all, I've only done one other one before on a phone before, so we're doing it live stream from her phone here today, so it's really exciting to have you on the show. So... Tell me about this mindful mama stuff. I love this. Yeah. So, you know, I think for me, I, you know, I used to be a former divorce attorney. So I was in, and I did all out of court divorces. So I was in the mix of what happens when relationships break up, right? When relationships and marriages break up and many people, because I did out of course divorce resolutions, they had children. And so they wanted to get divorced as amicably as possible. And I recognize, you know, having the husband and wife in front of me, I would absorb their anger, their negativity, you know, what they were feeling. And it triggered within me how, when I was a child, how I suffered from anxiety and stress and tension because of my home environment. And so I go home at night wondering, you know, what's happening with these children of my clients at home? How are they experiencing this? And I knew because I was that child experiencing that trauma and that, you know, anger and the tension. And so my heart really of everything that I do, I'm a mindfulness advocate for kids. I've always been an advocate to help children learn the tools to better manage stress learn the tools to navigate difficult emotions and to build confidence and compassion at a young age. Uh, But I realized something seven years ago. So I left my career as a divorce attorney seven years ago, and I've been teaching this to kids. And then about three years ago when I was pregnant and I was becoming a mom, I realized something, this wisdom came to me that our children will not carry these tools into their adulthood unless their parents and their moms are practicing and reinforcing these tools at home. And so I knew that too, because at at the age of four, when I started struggling from anxiety, my dad taught me how to meditate for the first time. And I remember the experience, how it helped me feel calm, how it helped me feel real. It really helped me release my stress. But the thing is my dad fell off his practice which meant that I fell off my practice. I didn't have anybody modeling it for me. And so, you know, I realized you can plant the seeds as you want. And that's what I was doing. I was planting seeds, hoping that someday that they will blossom and manifest. And I was like, we can't leave this to chance. We got to really embody this in our own life, be the model, and then teach our children. You know, it's funny you say your dad taught you to meditate at four years old. Have you ever thanked your dad for like... Hey, Dad, thank you for teaching me that. That's amazing. At four years old, learning how to meditate. I mean, most of us don't get into our 30s to even understand what it is, right? Yeah. uh, And that's really amazing. Um, Meditation certainly is is something that, I mean, I've done a lot of conversations and something that comes up over and over again is just kind of meditating. And and, and I mean this in a lot of different forms, of course, but finding what meditation is for you is a really powerful tool to just stop and correct, stop and correct, stop and correct. And and uh, to help people learn to use that tool, to utilize it, can really change so much in our lives, so much in our lives. And absolutely. I'm sure you see a lot of that in your clients. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, with, with my moms, right, we are, we're living in a world that's fast paced, high, you know, high strong. We're so focused on doing more, being more, and then we feel the guilt of not doing enough and we should be more productive. You know, we're constantly bombarded with stress, feeling, you know, disconnected, 
feeling this chronic sense we're missing the moment. We yell more than we are calm and peaceful. And we, I think we're recognizing within ourselves, whether you're a mom or not, that the way that we're living our life is not sustainable. And there's something deep within us that's calling us that we need to find a new way. And whether it's our health or our mental stability or our emotional, you know, the way that we, if we, don't know how to handle anxiety. You know, I suffer, suffer from panic attacks at 28. And that's how I actually got back into my journey of yoga and meditation because I remembered, oh, that meditation helped me when I was younger. You know, let me try it again. So I think we're recognizing that something is not right. And when I'm coaching moms, there is that, you know, that that recognition, but there there's a there's a delineation. It's the willingness to actually we know that meditation is good for us. It's like the hot buzzword of like, you know, this, this um, era. It's just that, do we have the willingness to learn how to effortlessly infuse this into your, into your life? And that's what I teach. Not like sitting on your mat for like 30 minutes a day, because that's not accessible to us in our world. You know, how to really make it fit into our everyday life and feel the benefits of it when we need it. Yeah, you got a lot of energy. I know, I do. I'm so passionate about this. Can you tell? <laughs> I know. No, so so where does this all come from? Why are you so passionate about this? Why are you so I mean, you're engaged, like you're excited right now. I am. You know, I told you I you know, it's I'm a mindfulness advocate because I truly believe when I was a mom when I was becoming a mom when I was pregnant, I was going through my kundalini yoga and meditation training. So I had an experience of what it feels to be balanced and calm and feel peaceful and meditating and have my baby feel that too. And so many moms would tell me, you know, oh, be, be ready. You're going to be exhausted. It's good. You're going to be burned out. You're going to lose yourself. You're going to be, you're going to have no sense of sanity. You know, this business that you're trying to create, you're going to probably have to put that on hold because having a newborn is really hard. And I'm a rebel in my, like, you can ask my parents when they would say, you can't do this. I'd be like, heck yeah, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to show you that I can do it. And so when moms would tell me that this is going to be my reality, I wasn't willing to take defeat because I knew these tools worked. They've helped me cope with my anxiety. And they were basically my survival mechanism. I knew what it felt like being raised by a mom who was constantly distracted and how that affected my self-esteem. I felt I was unworthy and I, I wasn't important to hear. And I was raised in a home where anger was the way that you expressed emotions. And I knew how I, I had picked up that anger rage and that pattern. And I was so determined I wasn't going to pass that on to my future children. And I, it, it was, I was determined. And so when I learned to try to find things for moms to how to infuse this in their life, there was nothing out there. There were just like books that would tell you, here are a bunch of tools that you should practice. But there was no step by step of how you do this in your life. How is this really going to help you and heal you? And um, so I created it. And that's why I'm so passionate. I am a pioneer. I'm a trailblazer. I'm basically a voice in creating a new conversation about mindful mothering and how to, you can feel more present and patient and peaceful. And it's not just about tools. Kundalini meditation heals you at your core. So you're breaking the patterns for good. You are no longer going to be consumed by guilt because you're going to be so confident in who you are. You're going to let your light shine. And everyone around you feels that your family, your children, other moms, everyone that you meet will feel that light. And that's why I'm so passionate. And that's what you probably feel because I'm staying, you know, I walk the walk and I talk the talk to it. I can tell. I can totally tell. <laughs> so people come to you, 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 you show them your tools. Tell me about some of these people and the, the transformations you've, you've seen. I mean, yes. little, like, have you yes. seen some? Absolutely. Okay, so, good. you know, these, these tools work really quickly. Like I said, the Kundalini meditation. So the greatest thing that I have felt so much joy is to see the confidence in moms, knowing that no matter what challenge comes their way, they have the tools, whether they need to feel more, they wanna enjoy the moment with their child, or if they need to be patient, what breathing technique that they need to come to to help them stay patient. 
They feel confident that they can teach their children how to better manage stress, not to be consumed by anger. Because I have taught children this. I have that beautiful gift of being able to make this fun and easy to understand with kids. So once I teach them through my five, you know, it's a six week course. The first five weeks is teaching the moms how to feel more balanced and fulfilled and peaceful. And then they teach their kids. And I think the most fulfillment and joy that I see is that they don't feel helpless that I know now how to raise happy, resilient, compassionate, and confident children because not only am I modeling it, I now have the tools that I'm placing in their day-to-day -day life to make that their reality. And that is the biggest transformation to see a mom be so confident um, and, and to know the right tools to navigate anything in life. That's the biggest takeaway that they take from the course. You know, there's a long-term investment too in, in making sure that not only you are mindful and your children are mindful because when they get older, um, the consequences could be deadly, you know, it really could be, uh, tr tragic and, and dangerous because if a kid's not getting the right care, the right, um, mindset, um, it's gonna be a long term, uh, tough times of, uh, you know, a lot of tough times cause they're gonna, they're not gonna feel comfortable. They're gonna experience, you know, all kinds of different things. So it's almost an investment too. I mean, we should, should all know that, but it's an investment in a long-term relationship with your kids and, and their lives. If you can get a hold of this and say, you know what, I need to get a hold of this mindfulness. I got to get a hold of myself, uh, you know, control my anger, control my emotions. <clears throat> We're all going to have it. It's part of life and that's, it's a good thing to have it. We have to have all these things. You, you can't go through life not being angry. You cannot be, because that's how you get things out. You know, it, it kind yeah. of, it's, it's, it's there for a reason. So uh, if people want to think they can go out there and just, I want to be not angry. You know, you got to get it out. I mean, if you don't get it out, then it's going to carry with you. And um, it's just really, really good to see. Cause you can see, you know, the difference in a long-term where parents have, you know, use these type of tools you're talking about versus not. Um, it's just, you know, it's almost like starting all over again, all over again later on in yeah. life. Yeah, absolutely. And you're, you're absolutely right. Like we have to learn, and this is what I teach moms and kids. You have to learn how to feel your emotions, but you don't have to overreact and yell and have it to be such a um, you know, a tumultuous like reaction to what's happening. You feel it, but you have the tools to understand. And this is what I always say. Anytime you feel anger, no matter who's triggering it, it is a unhealed wound within yourself that's asking you to look at it, to understand what is it that needs to be looked at. So, and then what can you do in the moment when you recognize that, you know, the trigger is there? The breathing is only going to help once you acknowledge that there is a wound. And when you look at it with that mindset, let me learn what it's trying to teach me, not be resistant to it, not me just, you know, not look at it, because that's where the anger and the yelling and the screaming comes from is because, you know, we're fearful of feeling whatever it is that's trying to teach us. So you're absolutely right. It's all about feeling the emotions, healing it, and then you can use the tools when they arise in your life. You don't have to be consumed by them and overwhelmed by them. So let's hear an example from you personally. I mean, um, I mean, obviously, we got an example before we started here today. We we were struggling. We were trying to get Skype to work. Uh, it was not working on either your end, my end, both ends, who knows, whatever it was. Uh, and then we tried different things. And you know, it's pretty frustrating. We're, we have a timeline. I have five other events going on. We both kind of kept our calm and kind of mm -hmm. worked this out. We've luckily I had built in some extra time to come back and get to you. So we're here now, but <laughs> what, I mean, certainly some people would just get, take that and just, Oh my God, this day is going to be awful. But, but, you know, tell us about maybe not just that this time, but another time where like you've been tested with your tools, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and they've come through for you. Yeah. So, you know, something like this, like even after we got off the phone, you know, I'm all about dispelling energy. I know that I hold energy in my neck, you know, frustration in my, my, my shoulders. So I do like, you know, things to like expel energy, but I'm going to give you, cause we're talking about patience. I'm going to give you a prime example of how this really healed me in my life. So for me, um, you know, when my son, he's a toddler, when he is in a moment of like his meltdown, he knew that because like he would he would pull my hair and he would look at me and I knew that he was aware he was doing it because 
he well his thing that makes him upset is when I have to change his diaper but I mean kid I gotta change your diaper <laughs> so you know um you know he would he would do it intentionally because he knew that it hurt me and the few, first few times you know I would like jump and I'd be like ow like you know stop that and um he recognized he could get a rise out of me he would not do that with anybody else and he did it on few occasions with my husband but it didn't trigger him and he could stay calm through it so he stopped doing it I recognized that I was getting triggered at that moment. When he would do that, I felt, I became aware. How was I feeling in my body? And I was getting constricted. Even though I wasn't yelling at him, my tone of voice was not loving. And when I was, you know, I was definitely exuding energy that was fearful. And a lot of times we forget our conversations are, you know, our energy speaks louder than our words. And especially with children, they are so sensitive to energy that they're aware of the internal of what we're experiencing. So I recognize, okay, I'm feeling fearful in that moment. And I have a tool that I use, um, you know, part of it is using the right tools. So I was breathing. I had like a little, I put post-its or I had these beautiful cards that remind me to breathe deep and be patient because you forget in the moment because you're an autopilot. So I have all these beautiful reminders throughout my house that help me when I'm calm to breathe so that I'll come back to it in the moment. So I started breathing through that so I wasn't reacting. And then I did a Kundalini meditation that actually is meant to help pull the roots of your anger out to help you understand what is the cause of it. What came up for me was that every time he pulled my hair, it may, took me back to when I used to be a child and I used to get slapped or hit by my parents. And how I always felt that it was so grossly, uh, whatever I did that was wrong, it was so grossly unproportional that I didn't need to be get hit for it. And I was a child, so I couldn't share but my anger, I couldn't share that I was so upset by it, but I was now displacing it on my son, who when he did that, made me feel the rejection, made me feel the hurt, made me feel, I'm loving you, why are you doing this to hurt me? And I recognized what was coming up to be healed, that I still felt that anger and that, that feeling, that rejection, and feeling that unlove when what I felt as a child. Once I recognized that, I knew that I wasn't getting, when I started practicing the breathing, when that used to happen, I was able to not be fearful. I was able to be, Ayan, that hurts mommy. That's, you know, please don't do that. I was able to talk to him calmly and my energy was different. It was not just that my words were different. My energy was different, which meant, and you know what? And within a week or so, he stopped doing it altogether. He stopped pulling my hair. There was just this when my energy shift, his energy shift, he knew that I could do this to mommy, but it wasn't going to give her a rise out of her. So I'm not going to do it, even though, you know, I might not like changing my diaper. He still doesn't like to, but he doesn't pull my hair anymore and try to get that rise out of me. So that is how this works. So it's a, uh, it's part learning the tools and then part doing the meditation to heal you and understand why is it happening. And when I acknowledged it and it's like, Hey, this is, I don't need to put this on my son. My son's not doing this intentionally. I was able to look at him with more compassion in that moment. That's an amazing story. It's just, I mean, <laughs> just thinking that through and learning that through can change a life, can change, yeah. you, know, a many, you know, there's many people in relationships out there that kind of let that stuff boil, you know? Um, and if, and we know what happens from there. I mean, lots of dangerous things can happen if you can use your tools or your course to help change things. Um, you can save lives. You can save you can make your life a better place and make it a better uh, experience. Again, you know, people just think that they can't be angry. They can't be mad. These things do happen. And, you know, it's kind of like the, you know, the whole law of attraction thing is like it's not a perfect day every day. You need the con contrast. There's always has to be this contrast. It's how you manage a contrast to elevate yourself to the next level is how we manage that. Does this, does this cover that as well in this course? Absolutely. Yeah. So it's a lot of like, I do teach a lot of manifesting and mindset training because that's such a huge component of being, being able to shift your reality, shifting your perspective. And so that is a big portion of my training. Um, it's actually like a bonus that I give, um, a you know, with the course and, um, <clears throat> Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, it's how we navigate our challenges because they're going to happen. If you think that you're going to practice mindfulness and meditation, you're going to be happy all the time and you're not going to be stressed and you're not going to be tested. You know, you're 
in for a rude awakening. And I can actually raise my hand. I actually thought, well, I was like, oh, I'm going to practice this. I'm going to be in a positive mindset. I want to be so zen. And everything is just going to flow so smoothly. And then those things start popping up. And I was like, oh, I guess it's not like that. You're still going to have those moments of stress and anxiety, but you're not consumed by them. You can learn to shift your mood and your energy very quickly and you like how both of us stayed calm like okay we're gonna just roll with it all right let's move on to the next thing and we are now talking when we're exactly meant to talk and it worked out and it aligned and it's a beautiful synergy because we didn't let our other emotions get in the way and you know neither one of us got upset or neither one of us got super frustrated or didn't shift anything we just rolled with it and that's how life is meant to be lived yeah it is and and Again, you can you can roll with it the one way, you can roll with it the other way. It does go away on both ends. It goes away. The, the sun's always going to come up the next day. It's always going to be yeah. a different time and space. So, uh, but again, when we get in that moment, sometimes we don't <laughs> think it's coming. The better days are coming, or the whatever. Um, but it's so exciting. So, tell us more about this course if people are interested in uh, purchasing. Yeah. Yes. So I launch it two times a year. It's called the Mindful Mama Experience. And you can go to www.themindfulmamaexperience.com. It's actually, um, I don't know when this is going to go live, but it's going to start on April 20th, the next round, live round. And it is a six week online based training program where I walk you through the six critical shifts to becoming a mindful mom. It's a video based course. So you get videos weekly. It fits into your schedule. Um, there's a supportive session of it where you get live group coaching and uh, there's a private Facebook group so we can build a community of like-minded moms from actually around the world. That's why I made the course and stopped doing one-on-one so we can connect and build a community. Um, all the details are available there. And the best part is, is that you have lifetime access to it. So once you sign up, you can join every live launch. You, all the information is yours. Um, you know, you can listen to it in the car, you can watch the videos, you can read it on your phone, whatever way you learn best. But I, as I grow, as I learn new tools, because this is a part of my life, and my mission is to teach a million moms in my lifetime how to infuse this. So I'm gonna be here for a while and the course is gonna be here for a while, but you get the new training, the upgraded. Um, I have tons of guest speakers and trainers who join, who are moms, who, um, you know, from essential oils to um, tapping into your mother intuition to learning how to do tapping or EFT, all these different tools that can help you on your journey. Um, you know, I'm not an expert in everything. So yeah. I build this community of guest trainers. And so it's a wonderful experience. And if you want to learn more about it, like I said, the mindful mama experience.com. I only launch it two times a year. The next time will be in the fall. If you missed the April 20th, but certainly sign up for it. And if you just want to connect with me, get more inspirational information, come to my website, which is thejalvpatel.com. It's T E J A L V P A T E L.com. That's T E J A L V P A T E L. I have to say it slow. So cause you're so excited. <laughs> I know <laughs> <laughs> you're so excited. And hopefully you guys out there too can, uh, guys and women, excuse me, women out there can get excited too about m making this change, you know, yeah. um, be a mindful mama, you know, and experience yeah. life in a different way. Uh, yeah. There's so many great things about uh, people out there like yourself that are going in, out there and making this something that they do for a living and changing lives. It's a great mm -hmm. new way of life is, is, is everybody's trying to help each other. And that's really cool. And I hopeful, hopefully listeners, you'll, you'll understand this and take advantage of it. Um, so, they cannot go into the course after the April 20th. Is that it? it that well, for this live launch, yeah, for this live launch, um, I, I do it where it's live launches because I give my, for the six weeks, I'm giving my expert um, support during that process. So the next launch is going to be in the fall. So you can certainly sign up, get your name on the wait list because I offer amazing early bird bonuses and pricing just for people who are on the list. Um, and in, in the meantime, you can certainly get my inspiration, my goodies, my amazing stuff from my website if they miss that launch. Um, but I always have it twice a year. So you'll have plenty of opportunities to join. That's so awesome. Thank you for coming on the show. This has been amazing. I, uh, your energy is going to carry me for the rest of my interviews for the day. It's really exciting. And um, I'm really excited for my listeners out there. This is really, really cool stuff. Um, the Mindful Mama Experience. She's got a course. Um, she's done some great things and we'll have some of that stuff in the show notes for you. Um, I would encourage you to check it out. It's really cool. They can also find you on Facebook. Is that correct? 
Yes, they can find me, find me on Facebook. You can look me up at TV. That's my fan page. And when you join, I have a private um, network of moms. I call us the Mod Zen Mamas. So it's a private closed group of like-minded moms who want to join this journey. So you can still stay connected with me while you wait for the live launch. So just sign up for my newsletter on my website, and you'll get access to the private group, and you can join me on Facebook, and we can connect Awesome. Thank you for coming on again. Listeners, thank you for listening today. This has been amazing. Again, the Mindful Mama experience on the Five Minute Bark. We're here today with Tajel Patel. Did I say that right again? Tajel. Tajel, Tajel. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm from Boston and it's really, I mean, coming out to California and all these different names, it's, it's, it's hard. It's really hard. I know. <laughs> so, I know. Don't feel bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everybody, thank you again. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye. You're watching the 5 Minute Bark Podcast on YouTube. If you like this episode, you just may like many more. Subscribe today by clicking the red subscribe button in the top right hand corner.